Oh, folks, welcome back to Spencer's Bookshelf. I'm glad you could join me again today. Um, we are going to be reviewing the book Principles by Ray Dalio. Um, it's a very long book. It's a pretty intense book, but uh, it's a good book. And uh, if you're in the field of management, if you're um, starting a business or have a business that you're looking to take to the next level, this is a great book for you. Um, so... Uh, before I uh, start getting into it, uh, please like, subscribe, um, and again, thanks for joining. I hope hope you're staying safe, and uh, let's go. Uh, so Ray Dalio, who is he? He is the founder of uh, Bridgewater, which is a, um, um, a capital markets firm. They manage large pensions. They they um, manage hedge funds. They 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 were big 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 monster in the uh, financial industry and investment industry uh, in the United States and, and around the world. Uh, Ray Dalio kind of grew up in very modest means and, and really built Bridgewater from the ground up and, uh, uh, and became super successful. Probably, I would argue, probably the most successful person in the financial industry. Um, I mean, that could be argued, but I would say at least top five or so. Like, he's one of the most powerful people, but also he's, he's really humble, and he's just, he seems like actually the kind of guy that you wouldn't think of as, like, a big CEO and a big uh, financier. He's kind of a, a down-to-earth, um, kind of a down-to-earth guy. Okay, so read Elio's book. Um, so... The main premise of the book, um, Principles, is really his principles and how he built Bridgewater. And um, and he goes a lot into HR. And he goes a lot into how to build a team and how to build segments of a team. And really how to put an organization together. Uh, so one thing he's a big advocate of are things like Myers-Briggs tests, um, which sort of are... are, are kind of personality tests that um, can sort of loosely indicate uh, strengths and weaknesses and the type of environment that you should do uh, or should be in in a specific work environment. So whether you're more of a team uh, or work strong in teams, work strong individually, more analytical, more social, things like that. He's a big advocate of trying to figure that out among his employees, especially when they first come on. So the book itself, it, it, it's so dense. It's so much information. It's, it's really long. I actually was reading it while I was reading a lot of other books because it was just so long. It's not one of those books that you just can like pound out in a couple weeks. This is like a, a big commitment uh, type of book, but it's also a good commitment. Um, it is not a book for everyone. I would say I would strongly advise if you don't want to move up it or you don't want to uh, learn about management and how to build a team and how to uh, really, really become successful in an organization or build a successful organization it may not be the book for you, um, partially because it's a big commitment and partially because... Um, it's really dense. It's a book that you should take notes, <laughs> Like, honestly, like, uh, he goes, I mean, one good thing about it is he goes through it methodically. Uh, he has, like, principle 1-2, principle 1-3, and he goes through it all. He has good stories that go behind it, uh, each of the principles and things like that. And, and, and frankly, actually, the beginning few chapters where he talks about his life were actually, I found really fascinating. And it gave me a new level of respect for Ray Dalio, um, but um, but I would say it is a bit of a, um, a dense book. Um, the parts that really stood out for me though is is really how how to um, is really how, what makes a good employee, uh, and not just a good employee, but what makes like a successful. Quote unquote, a successful person is, he's not really trying to say it in that sense, but like, what, what is it that a type of person that he would want on his team? So, uh, characteristics like loyalty, hard work, 
but also understand like not having an ego and really being uh down to earth and 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 really just being a team player and that's that's the big thing is is the way in which and and the thing is from the top ensuring that the vision is strong um the vision for your organization is to do this that mission statement needs to be airtight and everyone needs to be so on board that there's nothing more important than that vision statement so that's that's just some of the key aspects that he talks about in the book um honestly i would give this book um i'd give it a four to five uh when it comes actually you know what for content i'd give it a five out of five um with the caveat that i would say it's not meant for everyone um uh, really depends on the field of work and it really depends on the, what you're getting out of the book uh if you're looking for a book about leadership but all like managerial leadership and how to build an organization probably one of the best books you could read um if you're just looking to read a book for the sake of reading a book or just wanting to learn a bit about Ray Dalio it's probably not the best book to read because it's it's depth like it's um you, you have to really um want to learn and you'll get bored reading it just because of the content uh the writing style is great i give it four to four and a half out of five um He's definitely a um, pretty decent writer, especially for nonfiction, uh, especially for someone who's probably not, hasn't written many books. I know he's written a few other ones, but he's not like a typical writer that writes like 50 books or 100 books. Um, so I gotta give him a lot of uh, props for that. Like, um, he definitely did a good job on that front. Uh, but yeah, I think it's a great book. Um, again, if you're in management, leadership, start an organization, uh, entrepreneur read the book it's a good book um, take notes maybe uh, have a voice command note where if you read something that looks very important um, like a dragon dictation or something like that uh, that way you can save some of the information and stuff like that perfect anyways uh, thanks for joining today again please like subscribe um, you're putting out some more videos uh, I hope you guys have a great day um and uh keep reading uh reading is essential it's important makes you a better human makes us all a better humans the more we all know the more knowledge we have the better we can be as human beings and the more happiness we can all have thanks talk soon